pregnancy test attempts to determine whether a woman is pregnant. Markers that indicate pregnancy are found in urine and blood, and pregnancy tests require sampling one of these substances. The first of these markers to be discovered, human chorionic gonadotropin, was discovered in 1930 to be produced by the tropoblast cells of the fertilized ova. While HCG is a reliable marker of pregnancy, it cannot be detected until after implantation, this results in false negatives if the test is performed during the very early stages of pregnancy. Obstetric ultrasonography may also be used to detect pregnancy. Obstetric ultrasonography was first practiced in the 1960s. The first home test kit for HCG was invented in 1968 by Margaret Crane in New York. She was granted two U.S. patents, 3,579,306 and 215,774. The kits went on the markets in the United States and Europe in the mid-1970s. Modern tests, the test for pregnancy which can give the quickest result after fertilization is a rosette inhibition assay for early pregnancy factor. EPF can be detected in blood within 48 hours of fertilization. However, testing for EPF is expensive and time-consuming. Most chemical tests for pregnancy look for the presence of the beta subunit of HCG, or human chorionic gonadotropin, in the blood or urine. HCG can be detected in urine or blood after implantation, which occurs 6 to 12 days after fertilization. Quantitative blood tests can detect HCG levels as low as 1 miuml, while urine test strips have published detection thresholds of 10 miuml to 100 miuml, depending on the brand. Qualitative blood tests generally have a threshold of 25 miuml, and so are less sensitive than some available home pregnancy tests. Most home pregnancy tests are based on lateral flow technology. With obstetric ultrasonography the gestational sac sometimes can be visualized as early as four and a half weeks of gestation and the yolk sac at about five weeks gestation. The embryo can be observed and measured by about five and a half weeks. The heartbeat may be seen as early as six weeks, and is usually visible by seven weeks gestation. Accuracy A systematic review published in 1998 showed that home pregnancy test kits when used by experienced technicians, are almost as accurate as professional laboratory testing. When used by consumers, however, the accuracy fell to 75%. The review authors noted that many users misunderstood or failed to follow the instructions included in the kits. Improper usage may cause both false negatives and false positives. Timing of test, false negative readings can occur when testing is done too early. Quantitative blood tests and the most sensitive urine tests usually begin to detect HCG shortly after implantation, which can occur anywhere from 8 to 10 days after ovulation. HCG levels continue to arise through the first 20 weeks of pregnancy, so the chances of false test results diminish with time. Less sensitive urine tests and qualitative blood tests may not detect pregnancy until 3 or 4 days after implantation. Menstruation occurs on average 14 days after ovulation, so the likelihood of a false negative is low once a menstrual period is late. Ovulation may not occur at a predictable time in the menstrual cycle, however. A number of factors may cause an unexpectedly early or late ovulation, even for women with a history of regular menstrual cycles. Using ovulation predictor kits or charting the fertility signs of cervical mucus or basal body temperature give a more accurate idea of when to test than day counting alone. The accuracy of a pregnancy test is most closely related to the day of ovulation, not of the act of intercourse or insemination that cause the pregnancy. It is normal for sperm to live up to five days in the fallopian tubes, waiting for ovulation to occur. It could take up to 12 further days for implantation to occur meaning even the most sensitive pregnancy tests may give false negatives up to 17 days after the act that caused the pregnancy. Because some home pregnancy tests have high HCG detection thresholds, it may take an additional 3 or 4 days for HCG to rise to levels detectable by these tests a euro meaning false negatives may occur up to 3 weeks after the act of intercourse or insemination that causes pregnancy. False positives 
false positive test results may occur for several reasons, including errors of test application, use of drugs containing the HCG molecule, and non-pregnant production of the HCG molecule. Urine tests can be falsely positive in those that are taking the medications, chlorpromazine, phenothiazines and methadone among others. Spurious evaporation lines may appear on many home pregnancy tests if read after the suggested 3 euro 5 minute window or reaction time, independent of an actual pregnancy. False positives may also appear on tests used past their expiration date. A woman who has been given an HCG injection as part of infertility treatment will test positive on pregnancy tests that is say HCG, regardless of her actual pregnancy status. However, some infertility drugs do not contain the HCG hormone. Some diseases of the liver, cancers, and other medical conditions may produce elevated HCG and thus cause a false positive pregnancy test. These include choriocarcinoma and other germ cell tumors, IgA deficiencies, heterophile antibodies, enterocystoplasties, gestational trophoblastic diseases, and gestational trophoblastic neoplasms. Viability Pregnancy tests may be used to determine the viability of a pregnancy. Serial quantitative blood tests may be done, usually 3 euro 4 days apart. Below an HCG level of 1200 miuml the HCG usually doubles every 48 euro 72 hours, though a rise of 50 euro 60% is still considered normal. Between 1,200 and 6,000 miuml serum the HCG usually takes 72 a euro 90 hours to double, and above 6,000 miuml, the HCG often takes more than 4 days to double. Failure to increase normally may indicate an increased risk of miscarriage or a possible ectopic pregnancy. Ultrasound is also a common tool for determining viability. A lower than expected heart rate or missed development milestones may indicate a problem with the pregnancy. Diagnosis should not be made from a single ultrasound, however. Inaccurate estimations of fetal age and inaccuracies inherent in ultrasonic examination may cause a scan to be interpreted negatively. If results from the first ultrasound scan indicate a problem, repeating the scan 7 a euro 10 days later is reasonable practice. History Records of attempts at pregnancy testing have been found as far back as the ancient Greek and ancient Egyptian cultures. The ancient Egyptians watered bags of wheat and barley with the urine of a possibly pregnant woman. Germination indicated pregnancy. The type of grain that sprouted was taken as an indicator of the fetus's sex. Hippocrates suggested that a woman who had missed her period should drink a solution of honey in water at bedtime resulting abdominal distension and cramps would indicate the presence of a pregnancy. Avicenna and many physicians after him in the Middle Ages performed uroscopy, a non-scientific method to evaluate urine. Selma Rashim and Bernhard Sundek introduced testing based on the presence of human chorionic gonadotropin in 1928. Early studies of HCG had concluded that it was produced by the pituitary gland. In the 1930s, Georgiana Jones discovered that HCG was produced not by the pituitary gland, but by the placenta. This discovery was important in relying on HCG as an early marker of pregnancy. In the Ashim and Zundek test, an infantile female mouse was injected subcutaneously with urine of the person to be tested, and the mouse later was killed and dissected. Presence of ovulation indicated that the urine contained HCG and meant that the person was pregnant. A similar test was developed using immature rabbits. Here too, killing the animal to check her ovaries was necessary. An improvement arrived with the frog test, introduced by Lancelot Hogburn, which still was used in the 1950s and allowed the frog to remain alive and be used repeatedly. A female frog was injected with serum or urine of the patient. If the frog produced eggs within the next 24 hours, the test was positive. This was called the Bufo test, named after the toad genus Bufo, which was originally used for the test. Other species of toads and frogs have been used later on. Hormonal pregnancy tests such as Prima Dose and Duoginin were used in the 1960s and 1970s in the UK and Germany. These involved giving doses of hormone, and observing whether this induced bleeding. 
Immunologic pregnancy tests were introduced in 1960 when Wieden Gemzel presented a test based on in vitro hemagglutination inhibition. This was a first step away from in vivo pregnancy testing and initiated a series of improvements in pregnancy testing leading to the contemporary at-home testing. Direct measurement of antigens, such as HCG, was made possible after the invention of the radioimmunose in 1959. Radioimmunoses require sophisticated apparatus and special radiation precautions and are expensive. In the 1970s, the discovery of monoclonal antibodies led to the development of the relatively simple and cheap immunoses, such as agglutination inhibition-based assays and sandwich ELISA, used in modern home pregnancy tests. Pregnancy test computer programs, there are various applications both on mobile phones, desktop computers, and web pages, that allow to calculate probability of being pregnant. Although they often use accurate algorithms based on probability theory, and recent scientific research results, they cannot replace real pregnancy tests, and should be used only as additional source of information. See also, blastocyst, references. External links, pregnancy test, lab tests online.